The Japanese government has announced that the ASDF planes are expected to take off for Djibouti this weekend to pick up around 60 Japanese nationals from Sudan, as source reported. It is expected that the SDF will create a collaborative task force directed by the Air SDF's Air Support Command commander. This team will collaborate with SDF personnel already in Djibouti who have been dispatched for activities against pirates in the Gulf of Aden near Somalia to map out evacuation routes and other aspects of the mission. It is uncertain when the C-130 and C-2 transport planes will be sent to Sudan. Clashes between Sudan's military and rapid support forces have exacerbated, resulting in a chaotic situation at the airport in Khartoum, preventing civilians from leaving. According to the World Health Organization, the fighting has caused the death of more than 270 people and over 2,600 injuries. The government of Japan is maintaining communication with all their citizens currently in Sudan, according to Chief Cabinet Secretary Hirokazu Matsuno at a news conference on Thursday. The top government officials said, we will work closely with other major countries, including Group of Seven Nations, and do our best to secure the safety of Japanese citizens. Approximately 60 Japanese citizens are living in Djibouti, consisting of personnel from non-governmental organizations, JICA, and the Japanese embassy, as well as their family members. The self-defense forces of Japan have established a base in this country to counter piracy in the Gulf of Aden.